Hi, my name is Reese. And my name is Taryn. And this is Talking CAR. We are members of the Jason Russell Society in Massachusetts. If you haven't heard of us yet, well, you have now. In this monthly podcast, we are going to be talking all things CAR. Now let's get started. <laughs> Welcome to the ninth episode of our podcast, Talking C.A.R. This month's episode will be a continuation of last month's episode. If you remember, last month we talked all about national convention registration and how you can be involved. But this month's episode, we're going to get into more detail about the meeting itself. And we have a little surprise for you at the end. Second half. And so... This episode is a little bit late because we wanted to make sure that the registration was out and the convention packet was out so that we would have all the information we needed. So, yes. yeah. And before we get started, we have a few announcements. So, now you can listen to all all of our episodes, all of our past episodes on our Talking CIR podcast Facebook page. Ooh. So, yeah, we got our own Facebook page. So, we- they're all going to be there for you to listen to at any time. Listen to them all the time. Trust me. You'll you'll love it. Mm. <laughs> and another little PSA is we're going to talk a little bit about the COVID-19 virus yes. and just what you can do to prevent yourself from getting it at National Convention. So what, as we know, National Convention is on. And we just want to say if you're feeling sick, if you – are a little bit worried to travel it's okay stay just home. don't just stay home make sure you want to make sure that you don't have it you want to make sure that you keep everyone safe and yeah and if you are going and you know you don't have it wash make your sure hands, you wash hands. <laughs> sing sing the abcs or Twice. happy birthday or, or the CAR I've, song. I've i've seen you sing the first verse and chorus of the C.A.R. song, and I did that like four times today. I say it's pretty fun. It is. And yeah, so just make sure you're staying. Oh, thank you, Miss Whitor, for sending that to the group chat. Thank you. <laughs> and so yeah, um, make sure you're washing your hands, keeping sanitary. Don't be hugging and getting super close to everyone. <laughs> Don't cover your mouth when you sneeze. Or cough. Whatever. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, just make sure you're staying safe. Okay. So now to get into the podcast. (laughs) First, we would like to start with a little run through of what happens at this year's national convention. Like what will happen. So we'll start with Thursday. Um, If you happen to arrive on Thursday, there will be senior board meetings all day. And then later in the evening, there will be a Mingle with Mackie, which is where you can get a chance to spend time with the national president, which I personally have never seen before. So I don't know what to expect. Yeah, super fun to just hang out with Mackie and get to know her more. (laughs) And then on Friday, Friday morning, we're going to the zoo. Woo! <laughs> Rhymed. <laughs> um, that will be in the morning, and then make sure you have your 125th anniversary T-shirt. We... I'm not sure when they're gonna be giving them out, but just in case, make sure you have your regional T-shirt. Yeah, just and in case. We will be taking a group picture while we are there. Yeah. Um. Uh. After we return from the. Zoo. Zoo. <laughs> we, there will be meetings for the rest of the day, basically. There will be national board meetings, and if you signed up for anything, be prepared you will to most have likely meeting. have yeah. a meeting later that day. So make sure you check the program packet. But Not program packet, convention packet. Convention packet. Everything is listed in there. Yes, everything. Mm-hmm. Um, even later in the day, 
there is the start of the actual business meeting for national convention. The kickoff. <gasps> the kickoff. Um, <laughs> this is where you hear reports and campaign reports. speeches. <laughs> um, that's really it. <laughs> and then after the first portion, opening night is the meet the candidates party where oh, you yes, can get sticker, sticker sticker stickered. I don't know. And so basically you want to get as many stickers as possible. We've probably mentioned this before, but it's super fun. They'll give so you a bag. You can fun. either sticker your stickers on that or lots of people get the stickers all stickered over on them. Face, all over I face. personally a few years ago I had a chain running down my nose or it looked like I had a really long nose. It's it's fun. And then beware. Beware. There's mamarazzi at the end oh, taking yes. all of the pictures. So be prepared when you exit. <laughs> <laughs> um, after all the stickers, there will be a candidates party where you can meet even more of the yeah. candidates. You can furthermore meet the candidates and, and have a nice time. There will be entertainment like games. Yeah, super fun. And it's always fun. Okay, now no. we'll go into Saturday. Um, in the morning, the business meeting continues. There's voting. Um, members that are voting have to sit with their states. Mm -hmm. And alternates or non-voters will be seated somewhere else, either with their parents or just off to with, the side. Yeah. And just a suggestion... Sitting. Bring something to do, yeah. I would say. We have brought coloring pages, uh, like tic-tac-toe. I've seen somebody with a master's Sudoku book. Oh, yeah. People always bring crossword puzzles. And snacks, bring snacks. Because get... there will be no snacks. They're, you're not allowed to leave during the voting it, process. Yep. Yeah. You only have really a chance after you've voted, yes. which is a very slow time. But yeah, yeah. And, then and then they'll break for lunch, and then after lunch, the meeting continues, and then that's after, really <laughs> yeah. After the meeting, the business meeting, af the portion after lunch is over, we meet once again later in the after later in the night for the, the banquet. <laughs> Woo! This is where everybody's dressed up all fancy. The ladies are in their gowns, the men are in their fancy suits. <laughs> It's so fun. And this is where there are the awards, awards, like the pin presentations or the top three most outstanding society in the nation. Which and is the last award to be presented. And a bunch of other awards that I don't remember. But <laughs> it's pretty cool. There's a slideshow about the national president and their year. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Count how many times you were in it. That's what we do. <laughs> um, and then after. Through that, there is the formal dance. Um, and, and the grand march, too. To Make march sure to in. find your date. <laughs> I um, just a heads up for the formal dance. Don't change before midnight because they won't let you back in the room. <laughs> You'll just have to hang out in the hallway, which isn't that bad, but it gets kind of boring. So make We've sure you stay in your gowns <laughs> till... Midnight. Midnight, and then afterwards is the casual part of the dance, the Virginia State Party honoring Mackie. So, but it changes every year depending on the national president. Yeah, and then that ends the night. Um, in the morning, there's the there pilgrimage. is the pilgrimage. Yep. where there's installation. This is Sunday morning. Yep. Just a, by the way, um, insta the installation ceremony is a little different this year. It will not be held at Mount Vernon, but it will be held at Constitution Hall, just, honoring yep. the 125th anniversary. Just of like CAR. the installations were held 125 years ago oh at Constitution my. Hall. Golly. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> after the installation ceremony, there will be a luncheon, followed by a memorial service and a wreathling. And that basically sums up nationals yeah <laughs> and just another reminder if you haven't registered already make sure you sign up for being a page aid colorberry in the chorus or a musician it's super fun and i really recommend it just getting from into experience that again. it's so fun yeah and all the information that we found about this and all of the information that you will ever need in your lifetime about the National Convention. is in the convention packet. 
Yep, and that's available on the website. So, yes. yeah. We will see you after the commercial. 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 <laughs> With a special surprise. Woo. Bye. Did you know that the National Society Children of the American Revolution has a big anniversary coming up? NSCAR will be celebrating its 125th anniversary on April 5th, 2020. What better way to celebrate than to buy a pin? Available for a limited time, the 125th anniversary pin is a gold eagle with a red banner and a blue shield. Get yours for just $125 at your regional meeting. Proceeds go to fund the 125th anniversary celebrations. Don't be without one. Get yours now. So now we are back from the commercial and we hope you enjoy this special interview with Mrs. Keegan. We are fortunate to be here today with Mrs. Keegan, Honorary National President and Honorary Senior National President at her local DAR chapter meeting. Deborah Wheelock Daughters, say hello. Hello. Mrs. Keegan, you have been a member of a member and senior for CAR and have attended many national conventions. Our episode this month is all about national convention. We'd like to ask you a few questions about your experience at nationals. So what was your favorite part of national convention when you were a member of CAR? Well, there were lots of favorite parts, um, but I, th I think the banquet and the dance on Saturday night was always great fun because there were always lots of cute boys around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How would you say that National Convention has changed through the years? Oh, that's an interesting question. Well, of course, a lot of National Convention is just more, I'd say, modern than it was. <laughs> Because after all, when I was national president, it was from 1967 to 1968. So I've already had my 50th anniversary, mm -hmm. <laughs> passed it by two years as national president. So the, ch the changes that have happened would take too long to describe. <laughs> But I will share with you one really embarrassing moment <laughs> when I was national president at my national convention. We always have, and we still have, the All States Chorus, which <laughs> sings um, after the luncheon break on Saturday afternoon. And they all said to me, oh, Jane, you have to lead us in singing Dixie because, of course, in those days, I was the national president from Maryland and we considered ourselves Southern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, I can't sing. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll just stand at the podium and I'll just open my mouth, not let any sound come out, but everybody will join in. Not I opened my mouth and there was absolute dead silence with a thousand people looking at me. I have never sung in public since. I don't even sing in church. Well, do you have any other stories you'd like to share? Go. Uh, uh, well, let's see. Let's see if I can think of if I can think of one from my days when I was senior national president. Um, there were a lot of great uh, experiences. I, I think um, the, the year that David Sweeney was the national president, we were um, in New Orleans for a regional meeting and we took a boat ride on the bayou and they had caught an alligator so I think there's a picture of me kissing an alligator <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so I, I, can't, I can't think of anything else <laughs> that I really ought to share. <laughs> well, 
Thank you, Mrs. Keegan. We appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. We would also like to thank our first ever live studio audience, the Deborah Wheelock Chapter DAR. Yay! Yay! <laughs> thank you for having us. <laughs> Thank you once again to Mrs. Keegan and the Deborah Wheelock Chapter DAR for being our first live studio audience. So if you have the picture of Mrs. Keegan and the alligator, please post it on our Talking CAR Facebook page we would because love we would love it. to see it. Yep. And we hope you have enjoyed listening to our podcast this year. If you have any suggestions for next year or things you want to talk about, please post them on our Talking CAR Facebook page. So thank you once again for tuning in. This is Talking CAR. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye. That's our podcast for this month. You can find our podcast on Buzzsprout, Spotify, and iTunes. Be sure to tune in again next month. <laughs>